for talks with teachers to end of the week. Now, in an update sent this morning, the district's chief of state wrote that uh, district is reaching out to Governor Tina Kotek to find a replacement for a mediator who cannot attend talks tomorrow or Thursday. A superintendent of Portland Public Schools, Guadalupe Guerrero, indicated yesterday that some progress had been made over the weekend, but the district says it needs more money from the state or it has to make deeper cuts. The district says even if it got rid of its main office, other cuts would have to be made. And that's where we are torn with striking a balance because what I'm not willing to do is give up our students quality school experience. I think we all think our students should receive a well-rounded education. I think they should all have arts and library and extracurriculars and athletics. A group of Portland area state lawmakers had a news conference in Salem along with teacher union leaders. They made it clear no more money is coming from the state to fund a strike solution. And earlier this morning, students and parents took to the picket lines as well, calling for better conditions for their teachers. Students say they believe their voices need to be heard by the district. Kids are inside the classroom. Kids see the teachers every day. They see what's going on. We're out here to support our teachers because we really need these funds. We really need the district to say yes to giving us more money to get stuff that we really need. As students we spoke with say they are ready to return back to the classroom. Now, if your family is looking for ways to bridge the gaps in child care and address other pressing concerns, there are resources available to you. We have that information on coin.com.